Welcome, welcome back at any help at C square. In this example, we have two concentric circles, the big one, this one, and the smaller one. And we need to find the measure of arc BC, which is this arc right here on the large circle. If the measure of angle FOG, which is this angle, it's 40 degrees. And measure of angle EOD, this one here, is 120 degrees. So for finding the measure of arc BC, this arc here, we need to find the measure of angle A. The measure of angle A will be half of the measure of the arc BC. Why? Because angle A is what we call an inscribed angle. And that is half of the measure of the intercept arc, in this case, BC. For finding the measure of angle A, we're going to look now in this diagram. I make it here. And this is the small circle, and this is the angle A, which is going to be what we call an exterior angle, what I call an exterior angle. And this angle will be half of the difference between these two arcs. So in our case, the measure of angle A will be the difference of measure of arc ED, this one, minus so the measure of arc F. G. Okay. So this is the measure of angle A, the difference between these two arcs divided by 2. Behind left, how do I find the measure of arc ED and the measure of arc FG? We're going to have to take a look to these two angles given to us. This one. EOD is the central angle, and the measure of that angle is equal to the measure of its intercept arc, which is arc ED. And since the measure of angle EOD is 120 degrees, that means the measure of arc. ED will be the same. And then we're going to look to arc FG and angle FOG. The measure of angle FOG is the same of the measure of the arc FG. Why? Because of the same reason angle FOG is a central angle. And the measure of angle FOG is given to us is 40 degrees. So the measure of the arc FG will be also 40 degrees. So now we can go back here and replace the two measure of the two arcs. The measure of arc ED is 120, the measure of arc FG is 40, so we have 120 minus 40, that will be 40, 80, I'm sorry, divide by 2, and that will be 40 degree. The measure of angle A, this one here is 40 degree. Now we can go back here on the first relation, and I'm going to replace the measure of angle A with 40 degree. And for finding the measure of arc BC, I just have to multiply by two both sides. And I get the measure of arc BC is nothing else than 80 degrees. If you enjoyed this document, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.